Hello students, welcome back. Let's solve the next question. It's a question from electricity chapter. It asks, show how do you connect three resistors, each of resistance 6 ohm, so that the combination has a resistance of 9 ohm. Alright, so here we are given three resistors. Each of them has a value of 6 ohm and we need to connect them in such a way that will get the effective resistance is 9 ohm. First, let us see what are the possible combinations by which we can connect these three resistors. So the four possible ways in which we can connect these three resistors of 6 ohm each are the first one is we can connect all of them in series. Secondly, we can connect all of them in parallel. Thirdly, we'll connect two of them in series with the third one in parallel. And the fourth one is we'll connect two of them in parallel with the third one in series. So let's solve one by one and see in which of the combinations we are getting a value of 9 ohm. So the first one is when all of them are connected in series, the equivalent resistance in series is given by R1 plus R2 plus R3, which is 6 plus 6 plus 6, which is 18 ohm. So this is not the correct way of connecting the three resistors. Second one, all of them are in parallel. So the formula for finding out the effective resistance when the resistors are connected in parallel is 1 by Rp is 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3, which gives us 1 by Rp is 1 by 6 plus 1 by 6 plus 1 by 6, which is 3 by 6 which is 1 by 2. So, our effective resistance Rp is 2 ohm. So, this is not a value which is equal to 9 ohm. So, this combination is also ruled out. In the third combination, we have connected 2 in series and 1 in parallel. So, let's find out. The, so, whenever you get this type of combination circuit, if there is a branch in the circuit, first solve the series part in the branch and then go for the parallel part. So, for solving the series part, we get Rs is 6 plus 6, which is 12 ohm. Now, we will find out the resistance in parallel part. So, 1 by Rp, we got is 1 by 6 plus the effective resistance of these two, which we got is 12 ohm, which is 1 by 12. So, the LCM is 12. So, it is 2 plus 1, which is 3 by 12 which is 1 by 4. So, the effective resistance Rp is 4 ohm, which is not again the answer which we want. So, let's go for the fourth one. First, let us solve this branched part first. So, we get 1 by Rp is 1 by 6 plus 1 by 6, which is 2 by 6, that is 1 by 3. So, our Rp is 3 ohm. So, the total resistance of this circuit will be Rs is equal to 6 ohm plus the effective resistance of this parallel part which is 3 ohm. So, we get a total of 9 ohm. So, the answer to this question is option D which is we have to connect two resistors in parallel to each other and the third one is to be connected in series to get an effective resistance of 9 ohm. So, I hope you are clear with the solution. If you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Please watch the playlist containing the solved physics questions and numericals from the previous year's board exams. I have shared the link of the playlist in the description box. It will be very helpful to you while preparing for your exams.